Hey, hi, my imperfectionists. I'm Lady Imperfection. Welcome to my channel. So you might be a bit confused by the title and I'm gonna get to that. I just want to quickly say this is the first real animatic I've made. So you know what? Hit that like button, subscribe, click the notification bell. You know what? Smash the like button, not just hit it. Did I say subscribe? <clears throat> Let's get on with the story. So this dream was no light-hearted and funny dream. Though it made sound like such, it was rather more terrifying and heart-pounding. We need to get a few things straight before we continue with the story though. In my nightmare, it was common knowledge that those awake and moving around past the night would become victims to the most terrifying beast that ruled the land. The evil chickens. If they caught you past midnight, you could say goodbye to the rest of your life as they would soon end it once they got their wings on you. Those spine-chilling monsters would silently unlock your door, no matter how many locks, dash with only the sound of their claws hitting the floor as they come for you. It didn't matter what you would do, your life was in their beaks. The only way you would know that they were there to collect your soul for your disobedience would be their clucks, that ominous clucking noise. Let's get started from where I was. So when I was four or five, I would usually go to sleep in my parents' bedroom to escape the things that would lurk in the dark corners of my bedroom. It was midnight. My mum, sister, and I were all in my mother's bed, ready to get some much-needed rest. My mother and sister, who are always making sure that the apartment was clean, had realised that they had not hung out the washing yet, and they needed to let it dry overnight. They got out of bed and left. A few minutes later, I heard it. The blood-curdling cluck of the evil chickens. They had come to claim my family's life, their shadows creeping up the walls, getting bigger and bigger as they progressed to the room I was in. I was closing my eyes, hoping that they would think I was asleep, their clucks getting louder and louder until I woke up. So, <laughs> I'm gonna let that sink in for a second, because obviously most terrifying thing you've heard. Um, but I have a few things to say about this. So, why did my sister and my mother get up and do the washing if they knew that it was after midnight, meaning that the evil chickens would come and kill them? What? <laughs> like, I don't, were they just like, okay. I mean, it was, it was just washing. I mean, like, was your life worth it? I'm just saying, I mean, but what was the mindset of them in my dream? Okay, ready for bed. And, oh, I forgot to hang up my washing. I know the chickens will come and end my life, but the washing don't want moldy clothes. Tra -la 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 oh my goodness, the chickens! <laughs> so stupid. And why chickens? I have never been afraid of them. I would also like to specify because this wasn't mentioned in the story because it wasn't important. But they were wearing suits. <laughs> they were like for Mission Impossible suits spy wearing they were wearing suits. <laughs> they, they were just wearing suits. And they had red demon eyes. Um, like you know the ones that would like they glowed. Glowing red uh, demon eyes. That's what they had. Oh yeah. That that was the chicken dream. 